Hello, it is your girl Eternal Femme and I am back with another reading for the sign of Aquarius, summarizing Venus North Node or any of the heavy placements in your chart. Please be sure to like this video for resonate, comment down below if you felt that vibe or subscribe. And if the reading don't resonate today, maybe next time. Welcome back to the channel, you guys, and welcome to those of you who are new. Let's see what spirit has for you today. I have been taking really big breaks. I have to turn in 20 assignments every week. So my apologies if you guys care. Ah! <laughs> but my apologies for those of you who do. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. Important messages for the sign of Aquarius, Holy Spirit. Messages from the sign of Aquarius, Holy Spirit. Whew. I don't know why I'm hearing that promise song. Will you wear my promise ring? I promise not to hurt you, promise not to lie. That song is so old. Ah! <laughs> Defend you in my life. Some of you guys could be getting proposed to, or you got a little boo, okay? Let me find out. We got the strength. Three of Wands. Page of Swords. And the Queen of Coins here in reverse. Bottom of the deck is the Sun in reverse. I don't know if something broke down. I'm hearing manual. Um, this could be sim something as like simple as like a washer or a dryer that's having issues and you may have to go to the laundry and the washer clothes for a while. But for others of you guys, it's definitely something here where something may happen where you may have to put in a some leg work. This could be walking. Um, something may break down temporarily and you may not know. They may say until further notice. Um, this could have something to do with travel or you may have to, like I said, travel a little bit to wash. I don't know why I'm getting something about the laundromat. I don't know. <laughs> some of y'all might be the laundromat. You might have to go get your clothes washed at the laundromat. Some, something might be wrong with your washer and dryer. Or you might have to hand wash a little bit just to save some money. Okay. Um, but yeah, for some of you guys, I definitely see yeah, you going the distance or having some sort of expectations. 
um, you may have to invest a little more, put a little more time into something. Um, because it looks like, I don't know if you have a sewing kit, something may go wrong with the sewing kit. You may have to do it. You may have to actually do it by hand. Um, others of you guys, this is just something here with life. This may be just life in general. There may be something here where you may have your luxury items that you are able to use, but something may happen where you may have to cut back on that and you may have to start going back to the basics. I don't know why I'm also hearing a recall or something. Or some of you guys are waiting for a call. And until you receive that call, yeah, you may have to start doing something um, by hand. Um, you may have to be independent for a little while until you get what it is that you're waiting for. I don't know if you're waiting on a package or like I said, you're waiting on a call. But I do feel like here with the sun here in reverse and the nine of coins here in reverse. Yeah, so if you are trying to figure out how to be self-sufficient or how to do something on your own, I see you figuring that out here. It's going to take practice, um, especially if you don't have all the tools to get it done professionally. You may have to do it for by yourself for a while, or you may have to think about options of how you can do this by yourself. Um, yeah, like watch a video maybe on YouTube, read up on it, um, on how you can... Do whatever this is yourself because it looks like there's going to be a delay or it looks like there's going to be an issue with maybe even purchasing this item so you may have to do it by hand for a while yeah i'm also getting as well thank you holy spirit i feel like somebody here you're gonna have to start being like creative like um like I told myself this year, I said, I'm not going to get a Christmas tree. I said that I was going to get cardboard boxes and cut the Christmas tree out and make it like a cardboard Christmas tree and then put all the fabric on it and then have my kids decorate it. I said I was going to do that because I said it was going to be resourceful and it was going to be easier to save money. And because um, I have a bunch of boxes from when I moved here. And I was like, yes, we could do this. Um, and then I was just going to put the lights on it because I already got the lights. So it was just like, I'm just going to use what I had in my home to make a Christmas tree. And it's it's kind of picking up on this energy here where I feel like there's kind of like use what you have for now until you can get what you want later. Yeah, because we got the two of cups here in reverse. Maybe you had an agreement. Maybe somebody's going to fall through on an agreement with you. Um, maybe somebody was going to stand by your side when it came to this, stick by your side. But your guides want you to get out of your head about that. I don't feel like you need this person um, or whoever this is or whatever this is. You may feel like you need this in order to survive or you need this in order to get something done. And the reason why I feel like this is something that you may have been doing professionally before. Maybe you've been getting it done. Um, I feel like maybe you were getting something done professionally, but now you're just going to have to do it yourself. Um, and your guides are telling you just because you may be separating or you may not have the means. There's something you're going without that maybe you had somebody else do for you. And maybe they fell through or maybe something is going to happen this month where you don't have that extra hand. Um, and your guides are telling you, you know, you're just going to have to uh, put, a, put, put some more muscle into it. Okay. But be resilient because this too shall pass. So it's definitely giving a vibe for somebody where, look, because, yeah, it says a deadline. So it definitely makes me feel like there's a calendar on this calendar or something circled. So maybe you just got to be like this for a couple of weeks or maybe for a month and then things will catch back up. OK. Something might be down for like a month. Confirmation. Something may be down for like a month or so. 
um, probably just a month, um, and then you're going to be back up and running, or something's going to be back up and running, and then you're going to be back, if everything's going to be back on track. Your guys want you to get out of your head about this situation and just use what you have for now until that situation is restored. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Yeah, because look at this one. This is even the hands as well. You're going to have to do something. I don't know why I'm hearing manual. I don't know if manual means like by hand, but I can't remember. Um, But like I definitely feel like you're going to have to just do something by hand for a while or something. Or you're going to have to uh figure out how, how you can do something without this extra expense or without this extra hand. Because it looks like you're going to be doing something independently for a while. <sighs> for a month or so. Yeah, nine of wands here in reverse. Yeah, so yeah, like I said, I feel like something's going to be recovered, restored. Might be down for nine weeks. Yeah, we got the five of wands here in reverse. Yeah, so I feel like something is going to be broken down. Or yes, thank you, Elizabeth. Like I said, if something is complicated... Um, I feel like if you're having a hard time and you feel like something is complicated, your spirit guides are definitely saying to look it up, do watch a video or something like that. This is for somebody. If you are having a hard time trying to figure out how to do something yourself, do your research because it'll make it more simplex. Like it, you will better understand it if you see it um, and you do it while you're watching it or something like that. Because if you feel like you need somebody to do it for you, your guides are saying you can do it yourself, Aquarius. It may be a little harder on you. It may put a lot of pressure on you. Maybe you got other things you got to do. But for somebody I'm picking up here today, you don't need this other part. If, if somebody is not available right now, use your resources. Use your resources. It looks like you have the tools, but you just got to put your, put it, put, you're going to have to invest in it. So it may take a little time, but it's going to make a lot, make something a lot more easier to understand. If you do your research, you look it up, ask questions. It looks like you have options. Yeah, because we have the five of cups. Yeah, somebody is dwelling over something here. Somebody is dwelling over something that they don't have. Maybe you feel like it's in an emergency. You're like, I really need this or... What's this? What's this Holy Spirit? Yeah, we got the not I mean the King of Wands here. What's this energy? And we got the King of Pentacles. Okay, so maybe there is somebody who could invest or give you help or give you money, but four of wands. There's a partner here. Yeah, maybe somebody is like, I can help you or what? Maybe they're willing to exchange or let you borrow money. Don't know. Seven of Wands here in reverse. I don't know if you're getting ready to trust somebody because you need the help. I don't know about this one. Yeah, we got the Two of Swords here in reverse. Or maybe you've already made the decision to let this person help you. Three of Cups. Yeah, so I don't know if you're going to let somebody help bring you out the cold or give you some money. Knight of Cups is in reverse, Aquarius. Ah, Just listen to your intuition. I just feel like sometimes... And it's crazy that this lawnmower is over here now. Sometimes we see ourselves in a bind and we see that and we're like, okay, we got this situation going on here and somebody comes in perfect time while you're going through this struggle and 
because you're so used to having whatever this vice is or whatever this situation is that you're going without, you have became accustomed to it. It's like, it's like when you are used to getting your hair done every Tuesday and now you can't get your hair done every Tuesday. You know, something may happen where you got to cut back on that spending or something. And so now you're like, damn, you know, I really want my hair done. And then this person comes in and they're like, oh, yeah, I can, I can definitely get your hair done. You've convinced yourself that like life won't go on unless your hair is done. So you're dwelling on not having your hair done. And it's like at one point in life, you were able to go without that. But now you've only got you've only got to go without it for like a month or a couple of weeks. And it's like the end of the world. So like you're willing to exchange with somebody who's not really even genuine. They want something in return, Aquarius. We got it's not the right time. Yes, four of coins here in reverse. Save just just save your money. Do not sell yourself short just because you don't know what to do or you can't go without this. Yeah, eight of coins. Just just, just gonna it's gonna take a little work. Progress is better than no progress, okay? It's gonna take a little time, it's gonna take a little effort. You're gonna work, you're gonna have to work a little harder, but you may have to pick up some more hours at work or something like that, or you may have to just invest more. Yeah, six of wands here. I feel like if you're waiting to get approved for something, you're gonna get approved, but it's gonna take a couple of weeks, eight weeks, maybe nine weeks. But this ain't it. Yeah, ten of coins here in reverse. Maybe going through a loss, or maybe you're exchanging with this person, investing with this person. Yeah, it's a loss. Just, just wait. You're gonna end up, yes, you're gonna make progress. Take your, if something is taking time, just, just wait. Six of coins, you may have to eat them beans for a couple of weeks. I'm just keeping it fucking, I don't know. I'm just keeping it real. You may have to cut back. You may have to struggle a little bit. You may have to go to the pantry. You may have to go stand in line somewhere. You may have to go apply for something, but give it some time. You're, you're not gonna die. Whatever, whatever I'm picking up on today, the fact that it's the strength card lets me know that like whatever it is that you're going without, you're gonna be fine. It's not the end of the world. Man, four of wands, like, create. You can, Like I said, you're gonna have to get creative. Some of y'all, you, you need to kill some time or something like that, like, yeah, read a book. Go back to school, something. Yeah, nine of coins here in reverse. You're worried about what you can't do for yourself right now or you can't pamper yourself or you can't do these for yourself. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, the empress, create. Some of y'all, you're pregnant or something like that. You're with child. You, you're on bed rest. Sit your ass down somewhere. Damn. And somebody don't know how to sit down. Somebody don't know. Yeah, create. This is a new, some of y'all, this is a new beginning for you, but... You're dwelling on the, the what 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 you used to have, what you used to do. It's like, yeah, that's the past. You've changed. Or your life has changed. And it looks like it's changing for the better, but you can't see that when you're dwelling on what you don't have or what you used to have or who you used to be. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Some of y'all, if you're dwelling on an ending of something, it is what it is. Um... Some of y'all are thinking about all the money you spent, you should have saved or you should have put towards this. Maybe this is something that was was breaking down a long time ago and you didn't put the money in, on it or something like that. And now it's broken down and you're like, damn, I had the money, I had the resources. Damn, why I didn't do it? It's like, uh, it is what it is. It's too late now. It, it's, it's, it's done. So, you know, wait till you get the money again and you can get it fixed or just move on. So that we complicate things when we, we, we're so afraid to like, we're missing out on something.
Like sometimes things are only in our life for a season and we we have to remember that. Okay. So whatever it is that you lost, or whatever it is that you're having to leave behind, it's, it's gonna be okay. Um Brazen, it's a new day. It's a new day, Aquarius. It's a new day. Look on the bright side of things. It's a new day. Yeah, creativity. It's the perfect time to create. Some of y'all, you're about to bring life into the world. You need to be in a positive mindset. You're going to be okay. Yeah, we got sacred lust here. Yeah, that's what I feel like. I feel like it's lust. You're lusting over things. You just want these things. These are not these are not necess what is it? Necessities? This is like not needs. These are wants, okay? And at one point, you're gonna you're gonna get to that place where you are able to get those once again. But right now, what you need to do is look on the brighter side of things. Yeah, this is awakening. Somebody is definitely giving birth here. Like, girl, how that baby? Quit playing with me. You need to bring that child into a very peaceful and relaxed environment. Okay. Um, and with this awakening, for those of you, like I said, this is a new beginning, okay? Be free. Yeah, it says speak up. Speak up. So some of y'all, you have a purpose here. There's a purpose. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There's a purpose of why you're going through what this is. It's because this page of swords is here. So there's a purpose of why you are where you are, why you're going through what you're going through. Maybe there is something going on with the system or with this environment that you're in. Maybe maybe they're not investing in the, maybe you have broken down things in your home, like your dishwasher or your, your laundromat or something needs to be fixed, something needs to be done, something needs to be operated it's not fair to you because that's gonna buy you some time some of y'all if you are late that's gonna buy you some time they're not uh fixing your accessory your assess what is it oh my goodness i don't know how to say the word but your amenities they're not fixing up they're not they're not some some not right get get that together that that'll buy you some time speak up tell them they need to get something fixed something ain't right home breaking down or something like that you need to say something that'll buy you some time okay um if somebody was supposed to have that yeah you gotta speak yeah thank you holy spirit some of y'all avoiding a situation and like running and hiding that's not gonna fix nothing you're gonna have to say something speak up because you'll be amazed how many people will work with you when you open up your mouth and just ask just ask. Just tell them. I don't have it right now. I can't do this right now. I'm not in a place for that right now. What can you do? Can you work with me? Like, you just got to do it. I need help right now. Because it says, wounded healer, divine lineage. Yeah, you have a divine inheritance. You're blessed. You just need to open up your mouth. Ask and you shall receive. You can't be afraid to speak up, especially if you're going through some storms right now. You'll be amazed how much the truth will set you free. Sometimes speaking up is the bet, the only option. You gotta say something because if you don't, people will assume. Okay, and in this type of situation, that's what's going to happen here. If you don't speak up, it's gonna leave too much room to assume that either you're irresponsible, you're unreliable, you're inconsistent, um, 
And if you want somebody to still hold you in a in a place of respect, and just tell them, hey, I, I'm going through something, or hey, I had a little setback here, or hey, I'll pay you next week. Whatever this is, I don't know what the situation is, or I'll have it fixed next week, or hey, if this is your job, I'm having complications with my car, or I'm having complications with this, but you got to say something. Because if you don't say nothing, it's kind of like to hell with it. It's like court. If you if they send you a paper out and you you they, they send you a date of when you're supposed to be there, if you just don't show up and not call them and tell them, oh, damn, I can't make it, they're going to assume you just don't care and they're going to make a judgment based off of that. They're going to assume you don't have anything to say and they're going to make their judgment based off of that. So that's what this is. It's like Aquarius. If you have something to say and you know that it may help your situation, say it. Because what's the worst that could happen? They tell you no or they tell you, well, I can't help you. Okay, well, I'm just going to go to plan B. Like, that's just what this energy is giving you here, okay? That's what this is giving. Yeah, it says it's okay to remember. Then, I mean, it, it's okay to forget and then remember all over again. The Voyager, return home, lessons, realization. This is going to be a lesson for somebody here. That the things that you may think that you want or you need are not really technically a necessity, okay? Maybe this is you living a life well outside of your means, okay? And this is your guides trying to remember or get you to realize that you don't need these things in the first place. So the reason why some things are actually ending your life is to save your life, to save your situation, okay? So if you're going without something, something is being put on hold because your guides are trying to get you to better understand you never really needed it in the first place okay some of y'all this your makeup maybe you get your makeup done a lot or something like that or your guides are just wanting you to realize yeah like i'm hearing return back to the basics maybe you got some maybe you were doing something at first because you know, you just wanted to get it done. Like, this is like a situation where maybe you usually do something by hand or you usually do something yourself. But you got, you, you had somebody else do it once or twice for you and then you liked it. So you just kept doing it or something. And now you've convinced yourself, like, you've always needed this or something. But no, your guides are telling you for whoever I'm picking up on, it's time to go back to the basics. Because you may have forgot that that's, You may have forgot. It says the witch. I wasn't always like this. I had to create who I am. Centrix, lotus flower, free will. Exactly. This is your free will, Aquarius. So like I said, create. I feel like a lot of you guys, Aquarius, this is what you've, you've created this whole entire thing of you. Like, so wherever you are right now, you literally manifested this. You manifested this. But what happened was you started doing something outside of what you did before. So say you manifested something and then once you got into this place, you got comfortable and then you started using the, um, how can I break this down? It's like you created something all by yourself. And as you created this thing, it's almost like you forgot that. Okay, so I'm going to use magic. You are a natural magician. Natural magician. And you manifested this life for yourself. But then you started to get comfortable. And you're like, well, I want more. I want more. I want more. When all you had to do was act. But you started doing sorcery. And so now you're trying to force the hand. And instead of just allowing things to come naturally like they usually are now you're into sorcery now you're trying to manipulate things to work in your favor when in reality these things could have worked for you from the get-go and maybe you did one magic trick and now you have this thing and then so now you've gotten consistent with the magic now you're doing magic every day when before you've never did that you just always align things for yourself and you just it just came to you naturally that's what i'm getting it's kind of like maybe you are a natural beautiful beautiful person but 
now you're wearing makeup and now it's kind of like you always feel like you got to get your makeup done when in reality you used to be a naturalist it's just giving a vibe where there's something here that you did not need or you did not use before that you've gotten used to using and now you can't have it and you've convinced yourself you need it and you don't okay this could be makeup okay you don't need makeup you're a very beautiful person you don't need sorcery either if you are a witch you don't have to manipulate things to go in your favor you are naturally gifted okay there's somebody here there's something you don't need you are naturally gifted it's in your dna you are creative you are talented you don't need this vice or this this um, machinery whatever it is that you think you need go back to the basics is what i'm hearing Darling, don't you remember? You are a badass. Keep winging it. The fairy blessings flow. Magical energy, I'm telling you. You was the honey before you applied or had whatever this is. This could be this could be anything. Materials, clothes, hair, nails, shoes, car, whatever it was. You was you you've always been a baddie. I got that in a few readings before where I said you've always been a baddie, and it, this is picking up on this energy again. It's like, you don't, whatever it is that you think that you need, you don't need it. And even you could sit here and say, well, I want it, I want it, I want it. But it looks like your guys are trying to get you to remember yourself. You may have lost yourself in some sort of material, material gain. Let's, let's check out the energy. Yeah. Keep a protection pouch on you. Jupiter retrograde problems with making important life changes with future benefits, expansion, abundance, prosperity. Y'all, I can't make these readings up. You got to keep some protection on you, Aquarius, because I do feel like you guys have to realize that there is important life changes that you need to make in order to expand in your future. And some of y'all, it is your finances. Okay. But this Jupiter energy, I believe Jupiter is lucky. This could be your luck. I'm trying to remember. Is Jupiter, is Sagittarius ruled by Jupiter? I can't remember. But I definitely feel like, um, yeah, luck. When it comes to your finances here, you guys are very lucky. And I feel like um, some of you guys, you get a lot of blessings here. You get a lot of things that come into fruition for you. But there could be a mishandling in these blessings and these gifts and the money that you receive. Because when you get the money, when you get the success, when you get what you're asking for, you either overspend or you're reckless with the money or you have a hard time um, investing in actual goals or plans that are going to expand and bring a lot of abundance and prosperity into your life because it looks like you are abundant. It looks like you are blessed. But what you do with these blessings, what you do with this prosperity when it comes is what is causing you to come back into this place again. It's because when you get these blessings, you start to convince yourself that you need all of these different things when in reality you had an original plan. But what happens is you forget because now the blessing is here. Now the money is in your face. Now you have all of this, these things that you can do instead of sticking to what the original plan was, which was to expand. Okay. Um, and that's just what this is. It's like if you were somebody here who was always natural um, and now all of a sudden you came into a lump sum of money and now you got all these nails and these hairs and you done bought all these clothes and you done did all of this stuff. And it's like, it's okay to treat yourself, but it's, it's gotten to a point where you've convinced yourself that this person who used to be this natural person who usually stuck to the basics. Now you need all these things. Just a second. Sorry. But yeah, you don't need it. Um, please. Surrender it. Release expectations. Join a support group. <gasps> Excuse me, you are already complete. Exactly, you don't need anything else, okay? So if some of you guys are worrying right now, yeah, your guides are pretty much giving you an exorcism um, because you've, uh, 
you've gotten consumed, you've consumed something. Maybe this is programming, maybe this is too much TV, I don't know. But whatever you've been consuming has convinced you that you need these things and you don't. Um, and it also may have caused you to believe that these these part make part of who you are when you're naturally beautiful. And, and, and when you consume too much of something, like when you have too much of something, it's just as bad as having less. So when you have too much of something, now you're having withdrawals from it. Now you feel like you're not beautiful unless your hair is in a, in a weave or you got your hair done or you got your makeup on. I have to use this as an example just because I'm a female. Um, but if it could be anything for whatever, but it's like you've convinced yourself that you need this now because it's, it's programming. You've programmed yourself to believe this. This is this is all those days you went from maybe dressing up or having your makeup done um, twice uh, or maybe five times out of the month to now you can't even leave the house without it. And mind you, you look in the mirror every day and 21 days is, is long enough to, to create a habit. So if you've looked in your mirror for 21 days and you've had your hair and makeup done every day for 21 days, now all you see when you look at beauty is that I am only beautiful. Beauty is when you have your hair beat, I mean your hair done and your face beat. So now you've convinced yourself sub subconsciously, it's a subconscious thing. You've convinced yourself subconsciously that I'm not beautiful unless this is how I look. And so now you have to go through this whole process of healing um, you have to go through this whole process of unconditioning yourself to believe these things. And so we sometimes we do things and we think it's a minor change or it's a minor fix, but it's not. Because now um, maybe you used to be a certain size and um, you've convinced yourself that there is something here about you where like you gain a couple of pounds or maybe you fall track of your eating or something like that. And now it has caused you to fall into a deep depression because you're like, I only felt beautiful when I weighed this certain or I had enough money to pay for this type of food, these type of drinks. But you have to remember here, of course, you still want to eat healthy and stuff like that. But I'm just trying to break this down to make sense of um, what I'm seeing here. There is a program here. Somebody has programmed themselves and you just got to go through the the unconditioning phase. OK. You're already complete. Release expectations. Um, yeah, it says go hard. Yeah, go hard. Because I feel like that. I feel like you're already a beast there. It's, it's kind of like this energy where it's like, oh, it's like, what? You were already a badass before you had whatever you had. You already the honey. I. There's nothing you need to change about yourself or you don't need what you don't have is what I'm getting. You don't need it. I don't know how to say it. Yeah, you already shine bright. I, I, don't, I don't know how else to explain this. You already shine bright. You don't need this. Yeah, learn to commit to who you are. Yeah, times of adversity. Yeah, if you're going through some, some challenges, it's like... Wasn't you the same person who got you to where you are now and now you acting like you're not that person or something? Just because you're going through a little bit of some struggles, you forgot who you are or something? That's what I'm getting. Somebody forgot who they was. You done lost yourself in some sort of materialistic gain or something. It's convinced you that, that, yeah, love is enough. Giving everything won't make them happy. Okay, so I was seeing that. It says time to release this person. You're doing your best. Your best is enough. You don't owe anyone anything. You deserve respect. So maybe this is somebody who's asking you for something asking you for a favor or maybe this person's trying to be nice to you maybe they have done things for you and this person is acting like you owe them something you don't owe them nothing your guys want you to release them they may be um asking for a handout asking for a favor maybe this person like i said some of y'all you thinking about going back and and kiki kin with somebody or letting them um maybe they're going to offer you for something or something like that and because they see you going through something and your guys say you don't owe them nothing if this person did offer you something and you took it, don't take anything else from them. Because like they say, be careful of who you take things from because you might be taking something from the devil. Okay, people be looking for something in return. A lot of people don't make their intentions clear because they be trying to sneak their way and manipulate their way into your life. Okay, but be, be mindful of the people or the person, especially a person here in particular who is trying to get your attention either through helping you, but they there's something tied to that help. Okay, 
is and if they want your help they're trying to tie it like they're trying to tie themselves to you and say like basically you owe it to me because i helped you before aquarius please if you're going through a struggle just you're going to be okay okay you're going to be okay but do not just take stuff from people just because you're going through something please don't man it says i know that everything aligns for my highest good yes you got to trust the process I know that each step I take towards one dream creates momentum for the next. I am moving forward. Yeah, move on. Move forward. Continue on. It's like your life didn't stop because something you lost or something. It didn't stop. It ain't stopped. It ain't on pause. You don't got to wait. Just keep moving forward. Like, people be feeling like it's the end of the world when something ends in their life. I don't care what it is, you guys. You could say, well, it's my house. It's my car. It's the oh, okay. You're going to continue. You didn't die when you lost that house, okay? Um, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be like harsh or anything, or this could be your job, maybe you lost your job. It says, I know that my purpose is far greater than just working and paying bills. Like, you are more than your career, okay? It's not the end of the world, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be harsh or anything like that, but we really have to realize that it's not the end of the world. Like, it's not. If anything, it, it actually gives you a, a lot more time to look at the world and, and experience it and really experience the beauty because now your life has been slowed down. But like, people are in a rush to, to, to get to death. That's what this energy is. You're rushing your life. You're just rushing yourself like you're living to die. That's not life. That's not living at all. But I'm just, I'm just a reader. It says, I know that comparing myself to others only derail me from my purpose. I am on my own path. Exactly. You you probably are not on the same journey as people. People probably look at you and they probably think, what's wrong with you, Aquarius? Something's got to be wrong with you because you don't feel like you need these things. I literally just did a reading like this. You don't feel like you need these things. You, you're comfortable walking around being the person that you are and you're not afraid of being judged. Okay, just... Do not lose yourself to the programming. This is programming, okay? Please. Do not be conditioned, okay? Do not conform. That's what I feel. Like the video for us. And comment down below if you felt the vibe. Subscribe. Peace.